Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be decluttering my pantry, putting away my laundry, changing my bed sheets, and starting a farmhouse style kitchen table makeover. If you like the content you see today, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So let's get this started. In this video, I'm starting off by putting away my laundry and going to make my bed. It took me a while to finish my laundry. I actually started my laundry in the morning, but I'm actually putting it away a couple of hours later. But again, you know, that happens because I'm a mom. I have lots of responsibilities that I have to do before I can actually get other things done in the house. So I'm going to put my laundry away and then make my bed. I like to sort my laundry when it comes out of the dryer. So for example, I like to put Maya's clothes in one pile, my husband's clothes in one pile, and my clothes in one pile. So then it's easier for me to just kind of put everyone's clothes away in the closet, like right away. I do laundry about once a week, but sometimes if my daughter has an accident or, you know, I'm noticing that the hamper is getting really full, then I do it at least twice a week. And tell me in the comments below, when do you do your laundry and how many times a week you do laundry? A nice hack that I like to do in, when I'm putting my daughter's laundry away is I like to hang two infant bodysuits upside down on one hanger. This way I can see what Maya has in her closet and it's easy access. So again, if like she's grown out of one onesie, it's very easy for me to see she's outgrown it. So then I put it in the put away pile. I like to have my own blanket when I sleep and my husband likes to have his own blanket. I'm not the type to like sharing my blanket. It's just because like I'm the type of person that I toss and turn and pull the blanket. So to solve this problem, we both have our own. Uh, we're getting ready for bed. So I'm not gonna make my bed all the way. Just uh, get the clean sheets on and get ready for bed. As you can see in this part, I am now changed into different outfits. I actually videotaped this uh, video in, in two days. So now I'm uh, actually organizing my little pantry. I have an Ikea pantry in my kitchen and I just, I'm going through the cubbies one by one. I'm gonna vacuum them out, organize the food, figure out what I need, what I don't need and only put the things back that I need and discard all the things I don't. And this is actually my daughter's cubby and in here I have everything that has to do with her even like the safety stuff that I'm going through but I actually went through it and decluttered it and actually took some things to Value Village to donate um, and I have a baby bullet that I absolutely don't use but I don't know about you going through this drawer you know 
I just I think about how fast my daughter has grown and now she's nine months old and it's just like where has the time gone like leave a comment below and let me know like how did you feel when you were getting rid of some of your daughters or your sons or your children's stuff so I found these two jars they're already clean so I'm gonna put the black eyed beans and the navy beans inside these jars also you know shop your house guys you know like I already had these jars I didn't have to go to the dollar store or anything so that's pretty good so I saved money there and now I'm just gonna put them in Sleep with the doors unlocked On my way home Stumbling on the pavement I like to put like my rice, my pasta, my sugar, some lentils in these uh, glass silver jars. It's just easier to see what I'm running low in. And um, it also looks very nice and neat. So that's why I put the lentils in the earlier clip in little um, jars just to make my life easier when it comes to doing my grocery list. This is a picture of my pantry at the moment. I'm just going to sort through all the white boxes and take out all the cans and then I will show you what I'm planning on doing with them. I was going through my cans and just making sure that everything is, you know, of like this year. And I found cans that have expired in 2015. I almost fainted. That is disgusting. So just a reminder to you guys to also go through your pantry once in a while and make sure you're not cooking expired food. Because now I think about it, I'm like, maybe I used expired beans a long time ago because I don't really check the expiration date. But from now on, I will definitely be doing that. So I found, I took out all of the cans from my pantry. I don't have like a big pantry. So it's very hard for me um, to order, like to get cans out and see what I get, but I, like I have. like. Like for example, like look how many like chickpeas and like red kidney beans. I have like three. Like they, I have a lot of stuff. And like when I go grocery shopping, I just assume, oh look, like I don't have a uh, pizza sauce. Let me get it. But lo and behold, I have two right here. So it's very difficult. I did organize it once, and I, you know, went to Dollarama and I bought these um, cute little baskets, but. I thought it would be easy for me to just take it out, look, but it's actually not because this is actually blocking my vision. So it's very difficult for me to know what I have. So what I'm going to try again, this is, this is what happens. We organize something, we try it out for a couple of days or weeks, months, it doesn't work. You change it again. It doesn't mean that it's like written in stone. That's the way that it has to be. You can constantly be changing it to, to suit your needs and suit your kitchen in terms of my kitchen right now. So what I'm gonna do is, I actually have an empty black cubby. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to write on the top what they are, but and then I'm gonna put them all facing up. So when I pull out the drawer, I can see exactly what kind of cans I have. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to actually switch some of this food now to the empty cupboard that I have or the empty space that I have. So I will show you everything. I know it's very confusing and I'm a visual person as well, for some of you if you are. Um, but I will do it and then I will show you what I do.
wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstandings and words unspoken We fall apart and I won't dare to say So here I am wiping down the table and the chairs before we chalk paint this table. I got this table off Marketplace for $100, which was an amazing deal. Um, and also my nieces will be helping me paint the table and the chairs. These are my two nieces on the right is Hanya she is 16 years old and on the left she's 13 years old and that's my niece Meru and they have been such a big help helping me paint these chairs and honestly it's a very tedious job and they handled it like pros The dining table will not be done, obviously, for this video. I still have to do one or two more coats, and I also have to seal it. So if you want to see what my dining room looks like, then please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video so I can get part two for you. In part two, I will show you what my little uh, dining room in my kitchen looks like and I will be doing it farmhouse style. So this concludes my video. Please enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you lots of cleaning motivation to also get your to-do list done or your um, chores for the day done. And remember to always smile. Happy cleaning, bye.